physics. Uh, we're into the machines part of the course in our mechanical systems unit and we're looking specifically at the topic of torque now. We talked a little bit about machines, uh, a little bit about um, mechanical advantage, but we are going to get more depth with all that. And the first thing is around understanding the concept of torque. And and it is, um, you probably know this even just your knowledge around cars, that uh, torque is is a turning effect and it's really just caused by force around a fulcrum. Okay, so you could have torque on a lever. That's mostly what we focus on in this course. Um, so just some language in that. Of course, you got your fulcrum. This time we're using the term torque arm, but it's not a big deal. It's just you know your effort force and your distance from there to your fulcrum is called the torque arm. So just some details about torque. We give it the symbol T, and all it is, easy to calculate, it's the force, your effort force, times the distance to the fulcrum, or the torque arm, if you want to use that term. And the units are just Newton's meters and, and Newton meters. And, and the reason that makes sense, um, force is Newton's, distance is meters, so you just Newton meters. That's it. Okay? So here's a little example of calculating torque. This is, um, and, and you've all experienced this, it's a little bit of a challenge. I think it's a, a, a typical old uh, a, bar, a bar thing where you, um, something about as a contest to see who can hold the pitcher of beer sort of on their straight arm for the longest. If you can hold it for X amount of seconds or minutes, you know, maybe you get to drink the pitcher, I don't know. But um, because you know that, like you can just, you can just sort of picture how torque, <coughs> excuse me, it's hard, right? You hold a pitcher of beer with your arm bent with a short lever, like a short, a short uh, distance from the fulcrum, which would be your shoulder, say, to the holding the beer. Um, it's, it's easier. But if you straighten out your arm and hold it long far away, it's the same force, it's the same weight as the beer, but it's much more difficult because it's more torque. And and we live that example here because I want to do this example with Charlie holding him close and holding him far away. And first I had my 14 or 13 year old daughter doing it. She couldn't she couldn't hold him like this. She couldn't hold him with straight arms. She can hold him like this. So Mr. Restall had to do it. So so he's holding uh, Charlie close to his body. Um, there's Charlie's mass, and we want to find the torque. And then just in part B, and the first part is 30 centimeters away, and that's sort of me saying center to center distance. In part B, well, what if he pushes them away and we make it a 60 centimeter distance? Okay? Um, so to calculate the torque, it's actually quite simple, of course. Um, in part A, it's just, well, in both parts, it's, it's force of gravity. That's the force, you know, that you're having to over, overcome, right? Um, and then and then distance is uh, point, you put it in meters, so it's not 30 centimeters, it's 0.3 meters, right? So to calculate it, it's Charlie's mass times 9.8, that's the force of gravity, times the distance with 0.3 meters, so it's about 40 newton meters. And double the distance in part B is double the torque. So that's sort of the torque, you know, that he's applying to hold Charlie up. And again, the rotation would be around his shoulder joint, right? Um, yeah, so that's just a simple example with torque, and that, that's really it for this, this short, short lesson.